the day. Who? Who? Well, a good week. I mean, we we found out very recently. Um, Speak. Carl and Lindsay. Oh my God, we got something to talk about here today. Carl and Lindsay, Summer House. So, okay, this is this is your expertise. You've you've interviewed a lot of Summer House people. You. <sighs> never gotten into summer house winter house fall house i i don't really i'm not into it uh now Car- all i know about carl and Lindsay, i did watch like i think one season for a bit so carl used to be an alcoholic right he's been sober for quite a while and you know he's kind of gone through this um i don't know still you know, an alcoholic always once an alcoholic always an alcoholic in recovery thank you um you're carl welcome season- sarah He's gone through some growth. Like he wasn't sure he wanted to be on this show, which of course happens. I think when you go through a life event and recover, you're looking deeper, right? Lindsay's always been on the show, right? They, and they never were together. Didn't Lindsay date somebody else? They've always been on the show. They're both OGs. They have both dated plenty of others. And they had this, you know, hook up, not hook up. They've had a past where they've been together, not together. And then Carl got sober, doesn't not sure he wants to be on the show. He's a serious guy now. Blah blah blah. Doesn't work at Loverboy with Kyle anymore. And they got engaged. It was the typical story of like friends. Like, oh, you've been right under my nose for all this time. We've been friends, and I'm I'm in love with my best friend. And then they started dating, and then he proposed on the show. And I mean, look, do I think all this? Apparently, he told her on camera on camera that it's over apparently and apparently even his good friends didn't know this and the hotel rooms you cannot get a refund for the hotel rooms oh i've gone deep on this sweetheart you can't get a refund for the hotel rooms because the wedding is like now it's in like a few weeks but they're still filming summer house they were still filming when this happened at the end of august beginning of september and apparently he told her on air do i think all of this proposal love breakup is for a storyline for carl no i don't I mean, look. Wow, this is big. I mean, they had a br- they had a wedding shower just a few weeks ago. He surprised her. He showed up. I'd read. Uh, that ain't good. I mean, people have given you gifts. I mean, people, and you know this, you've been to many weddings, but now usually a lot of your wedding registry is purchased, almost completely purchased way prior to the wedding. You know, maybe not you. And, and most of the time now they ship the gift. So you've been given the gifts. Everything mm. has been sent. I mean, well, it to be devastating, devastating, unless, I mean, you know, again, maybe behind the scenes, there's a lot we don't know. That's usually the case. Um, but this is wild. This is wild. I mean, listen, and it's, it's, I am all for, uh, first of all, I'm not, and I do not, I'm not for marriage. I'm for Goldie and Kurt. I, I don't believe in marriage. Goldie Hawn recently said, truly recently, not about Colin Lindsay. She's like, please point to me. And I'm sure there's listeners out there that could point to this. I am sure there are people that get divorced where it starts on the first of the month and it's over on the second of the month and on the third of the month, your friends. I'm sure that that exists. I don't know of that. I don't think most people know of that. It's a business. It becomes really ugly. The hate for the person is so intense, so much more than the love ever was. And it's all about money and it goes on forever. Bethany Frankel, Jason Hoppy, that is the the typical divorce that I know of in my life. I don't believe in marriage at all. But I do believe in if you're about to get married and you're not sure, I am all about like call it off. So I support this personally if it's not... But Always. I am just, listen, I was wrong about Melissa Gorga being fired. I was wrong about Marge Joseph's being fired. And I was wrong about this. I have gone on record of saying, I think Carl and Lindsay are going to last forever. I have said that many times on this podcast, on the Sarah Fraser show, on Behind the Bill. I really thought friends that fall in love, they looked so... You know, and you can criticize Kyle and Amanda all day. They're still together, guys. So Paige and Craig, Summerhouse uh, Paige with Craig from Southern Charm, they're still together. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I mean, I think this is developing by the time this comes out in a week. Everyone might know what's what we might know more. But Carl was just he, he just got on a plane and he flew out of New York City. He was spotted, spotted at LaGuardia. I mean, listen, when this happens, I think you just want to put your head in the sand and just that's a great thing about social media, guys. It's just 
if you really just detox like Raquel Levis did and just go and live your life and just stay blacked out, you kind of skip it over, right? Like that's the way to handle a crisis. Oh yeah. I mean, he can lay low for quite a while. Um, I'm shocked. I'm shocked, Sarah. I'm shocked. I'm okay. shocked. You guys all know them far better. So I can see how this is shocking for everybody. To your point, you. always agree. If you are having any, I mean, I will say, you know, I know I didn't really, I didn't have any cold feet day of my wedding at all. I mean, you have butterflies because you want it to go off well. And my husband told me after we got married that he actually threw up on our wedding mornings. I don't know what that meant. Like maybe he was probably having cold feet, but, and I didn't care. We'd, we'd been dating for six years. I mean, I would have gone to the hotel room and gotten him and I would have said, you're going to go, we're fucking having a wedding. You're, you're going down that aisle. I don't give two shits. We're going to party and we'll get divorced later. Get your fucking ass down. There. But we've been together a long time. Yes, Carl and yes. been together how many long? Two years, three years? In the, some, less than three. Less okay. than three, honey. I, I, I think two is, I think over one, but less than two. But I, I do think it's good. You shouldn't go through with it if you, but they, I mean, I'm going to be fascinated to find out what's going on here because I mean, some other cast members have alluded to, there is some tea. There's got to be tea, right? I mean, there has to be some major things going on. I don't know. I mean, I hope she's not completely blindsided. Like has Carl been having these cold feet the entire time? I mean, if he has, Oh, sweetie, it is way over. She will never speak to him again. I mean, this is like Tom mm -hmm. Sandoval and Ariana. I mean, uh, like, yikes. People are comparing it. They're like, listen, I hope there's not somebody else. I, listen, I've made up my own backstory. I mean, I've known, I mean, I, I don't oh, know, but I mean, I've met Carl. I've met Lindsay. Lindsay's been on the podcast. Carl's been on. I, I just feel, I feel it's like, this is my backstory and I don't know. I just feel it's, not another person. I feel it's Carl sobriety. Carl is like always analyzing everything and figuring life out and blah, blah, blah. And just that's my backstory that he just, you know, man, I don't know. And just like, I, you know, grow up, dude. But, I mean, again, support to you for doing calling it off if you're not feeling it but i don't know I, I i just that's that's my backstory what do i know i just think it's him being like you know i'm just out of sobriety and it's you know i'm just like sober and it's still not like five years and blah blah, blah. and i'm not knocking the sobriety thing i just think it's carl overthinking life but i agree with you i mean Lindsay, man i mean look i don't know that's i, I feel for bad you. for her i do i i feel bad i do and i never feel bad for anyone like, this is like in, in public. Oh, it's just such a, it's a mess. Aaron. It's very hard. Yeah, because you, you know, you look forward to your wedding day if you are a person that believes in marriage. I mean, it's it's a lot of fun and people are very excited and people have made plans, obviously, like their hotel room. People have taken time out of their lives. They've made plans. They've made arrangements to be there. And, you know, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know what? Give her an apple. Give her a fucking apple and put her on that Roni reboot. You know what I'm saying? No, the Roni reboot is good. We don't need anybody else. We're we're uh, like it's going well over there, at Roni. I think, although you I love the Roni reboot, I love it. Oh my god, I think the women are fabulous. Oh, I think they're really great. They've all got tons of issues.